Today's episode of Film Ride is brought to you by Full Sail University. Welcome to Film Riot Mondays. It is good to be back. I mean, I haven't gone anywhere, technically, but we haven't been doing normal Film Riot episodes, and now we are, which I'm very excited about getting back into it. And actually, this week, we don't have an episode on Thursday. On Tuesday, we have it. Tomorrow, we're releasing a new project and the making of that episode. So we're releasing an episode early, two days early. How you like them apples? Usually, we release late. Not this week. No, sir. Let's do some questions. <laughs> Why is Film Riot called Film Riot? Because Adam named it that in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> if and when you make a feature film, will you show us behind the scenes on Film Riot? Definitely, although that does depend on how that feature film goes down. If I'm hired by a company to come in and make a feature film, it's gonna be their call whether that happens or not. Hopefully that's a part of the package. But again, it would be their call if I get to make a feature on my own terms, that will absolutely be a part of it. The way that we've done things with our short films is just kind of a small, glimpse of what we want to do when we get to features. It was always the idea to follow our career uh, through, you know, start to finish, meaning uh, into features and all of that. So hopefully we'll be educational for everyone to see all the pitfalls that I'm sure we're going to continue to have so other people can learn from those things. So yes is the short answer to the long answer I just gave. Why did you start Film Riot? Are you satisfied with how it is now? And where would you like Film Riot to be in five years? I started Film Riot because I wanted to create this online community of filmmakers that was helping each other and just get whatever knowledge I had out at the time to people, but also do what I hadn't seen anybody do yet and be very, very honest about my career path and everything that I'm learning. And just, you know, in the beginning of Film Riot, our opening bumper said, you wanna be a filmmaker, so do I, let's figure it out. And that was kind of just the idea behind Film Riot. Uh, so that's why I started it, to sort of build a community and try to help people because there wasn't really much out at the time like that. Uh, I am happy with where it is now. Of course, a lot of things are moving slower on the surface as far as what we're putting out right now because underneath the surface we've been gearing up for different things and hopefully we'll soon be taking the Film Riot to another level with ideas. I mean Film Riot's epic summer was you know a test run toward things that we want to do in the future but we're getting back to Film Riot now and I'm excited about a lot of the ideas that we have for the rest of the year and, and next year too so it's it's going to be good stuff. So in five years um, I'm hoping we're creating feature films and we're showing the behind the scenes of those feature films and I would love for Film Riot and Trying Films to become this revolving door of education for filmmakers that they come in they get involved with Film Riot help make that the sketches and we put them through this mentoring program to uh, you know in the end shoot out these well-rounded filmmakers to go and follow what they uh, want to do. What was it like to organize three different filmmakers for a common goal like Film Riot's Epic Summer? It was a massive learning curve for sure just like anything new that uh, I do, which I love doing stuff like that and challenging myself in, the, in those ways because there's always a lot of failures involved with it, which means a lot of learning involved with it. Uh, so it, it was great. I mean, my main goal was just to get that process out of those different filmmakers to everyone. Andrews is now, yeah, but it is coming out in August, so we're going to be able to see that as well. And, uh, you know, I'm learning from these guys just as much as I'm sure everybody else who's watching it is learning. And that was really my hope behind it. Uh, so it was, it, it was very interesting to work with different creatives. I mean, Seth and, and Andrew are very much uh, like me stylistically, I think to some extent, so it wasn't polar opposites, but their process and how they go about things is definitely different, so it was, it was very interesting and educational to say the least. Have you ever been an extra on a Hollywood feature film? I have, I've been an extra on a couple of them. Uh, I think one of the first ones I was an extra on was Ace Ventura. Got to meet Jim Carrey, he was a very nice guy. Jim Carrey was actually amazing because it was hot and miserable out there and uh, while the rest of the cast uh, disappeared, he would come and entertain all the extras by doing little comedic bits. It's pretty awesome. Last question, when is your next short film coming out? Technically tomorrow, although I don't consider it fully a short film, we're gonna start branding some of the things that we do, uh, Film Riot short shorts. So we'll have three levels of things. We have Film Riot sketches, inside episode sketches, those are done really quickly, and then we'll have Film Riot short shorts, which will be the new thing that we're doing, which I kinda consider UFO Yeah, a short short where it's not a full-on short film like proximity or tell it definitely had uh, some story to it some underlining ideas happening to it uh, but not as much so as proximity and tell so that and the one we're releasing tomorrow is definitely something that i consider a short short where it's a small contained 
entertaining piece, not trying to be this massive story, but just trying different techniques and ideas. Uh, and then we'll have Try and Films short films, uh, which will be the full on short films like Proximity and Tell and other ideas that we have coming in the future. So now, just by saying one of those three, you'll know exactly what to expect from us. If you dream of becoming a filmmaker, Full Sail University has degree programs to help you achieve your goal, including the on-campus film bachelor degree program. Throughout the film's bachelor degree program, you're going to learn the filmmaking process from start to finish on a campus that houses the technology and resources you need. In the online digital cinematography bachelor program, you learn what it takes to write, shoot, and edit your own films. Online students receive a technology package that includes a professional level digital video camera. Full Sail is also excited to announce the new film production's master degree program designed to give you an advanced education in the behind the scenes aspects of filmmaking. Full Sail grads have worked on films like Hunger Games and Gravity and shows like Film Riot because I went there. Full Sail University also offers a variety of campus and online degrees in fields related to the entertainment and media industry. Visit fullsale.edu slash filmriot to learn more. So that's it for today, which means it's time to bring back my short film suggestion of the week. This one's called Lifted. It's a DJI short film directed by Lynn Oding, who did a great job with the film. And it's really imaginative, and there's a lot of things to dissect there, a lot of great ideas at play. The cinematographer on this one was the same cinematographer that worked on Casino Royale, Goldeneye, and a bunch of other films, and it's starring Joel Edgerton which is very impressive. It also has a great behind the scenes, which you can find linked to the film and the behind the scenes in the notes section below. But that's it. Until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.